Hello everyone, welcome to A plus BI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to be solving an exponential equation. We have 1 plus i to the power n equals 8 minus 8i. And we're going to try to find the n value that satisfies this equation. Is n an integer? Does it have to be an integer or can it be something else? We're going to try to answer those questions. Now let's go ahead and take a look at a couple different powers of 1 plus i. 1 plus i is a special number because if you go ahead and square it, you're going to get something interesting. 1 squared plus i squared, which is negative 1, plus 2i. 1 and negative 1 cancels out, leaving us with 2i. So 1 plus i squared is 2i, and 1 minus i squared is negative 2i, which is nice, right? So that kind of helps us evaluate higher powers of 1 plus i, such as 1 plus i to the power 12, 1 plus i to the power even 2024 can be evaluated easily, and I think I've done some problems on those before. But in this case, it's a little different scenario because we are trying to find the power of 1 plus i that results in 8 minus 8i. So we could go through all the powers of 1 plus i and then go continue until we find it, but that's going to take forever, or at least... That's probably not the best way to approach it, right? Maybe. But let's go ahead and take a uh, look at the third power too. The third power is basically the second power multiplied by 1 plus i one more time. So it's like 2i multiplied by 1 plus i. And that's going to be 2i plus 2i squared, which is negative 2 plus 2i. Interesting. When you do the fourth power, you're going to square this. You're going to get negative 4, so on and so forth. So it kind of alternates between imaginary, real, complex and so on and so forth so it's kind of like a cycle right so it's special to understand what is going on here let's go ahead and write both of these numbers in polar form we're also going to be considering some other approaches which is going to be helpful i'll mention those as well first let's start with one plus i how can i write this in polar form i need two things any complex number can be written as r times e to the i theta, r is the modulus, theta is the argument. In this case, 1 plus i is the same as the point 1 comma 1 on the coordinate plane, and it can be written, its modulus is basically root, root 2, and the argument is going to be pi over 4. So I can kind of write it like this, right? Let's go ahead and for simplicity's sake, let's consider the principal values, okay? meaning that uh, we're not going to add any multiples of 2 pi to this. And let's see what happens. So that's 1 plus i, and let's do the same thing for 8 minus 8i. If you think about 8 minus 8i, it's going to be in the fourth quadrant, like this, and its modulus is going to be 8 root 2, and the argument is just going to be negative pi over 4. It's kind of like this, but uh, with a different argument, which is the kind of like reflection. So we can write it as e to the power negative i times pi over 4 because theta would be negative pi over 4. Make sense? Now let's go ahead and plug these values in. So like I take this number and then I want it to equal this number after raising it to the nth power. Let's go ahead and raise this number to the nth power and set it equal to this. So what can I do with this? We can go ahead and expand it, or we can actually actually natural log both sides and look at the result that way. So let's go ahead and natural log both sides, and that's going to give us n times the ln this, and then that's going to equal ln this product. So this, these are products, and the log of a product can be written as the sum of two logs, and then we can divide. So let's go ahead and first divide both sides and separate these into two pieces. And as you should know, ln e to the x is the same as x, right? And I can kind of split this up as well. So ln e is 1. From here, uh, these will turn into basically these two numbers. And then we should get n equals ln a through 2 minus i times pi over 4 divided by ln root 2 minus i times, actually plus i times pi over 4. Hmm, interesting. 
Where do we go from here, right? I mean, we kind of need to do something about it. First of all, 8 root 2 can be written as a power of 2. The same thing goes for root 2. And maybe we can find something from there. But I want to look at it from another perspective. So let's go ahead and do this instead. I want to take this number and just raise it to the nth power. And then set it equal to the right hand side. When you use pi over 4 as the argument, we run into a problem. And you can see that right here. If you compare the powers of e, on the left hand side you're going to get e to the power i pi n over 4. And on the right hand side you're going to get e to the power negative pi over 4. When the pi over 4 cancels out and the i cancels out, you basically get n equals negative 1. But do you think negative 1 is going to work? I don't think so. Because if you raise 1 plus i to the power negative 1, it's going to be 1 over 1 plus i, and that should be 1 minus i divided by 2. It doesn't give us 8 minus 8i. Eight so what's the problem? The problem is it, the principal values don't have to give you the answer all the time. So here's what we're going to do instead. Instead of using pi over 4, we're going to add multiple of 2 pi to this. In other words, write it as 2 pi n. Of course, 2 pi n, but I don't want to use n. Let's go ahead and use k because we already used n on the left hand side and then kind of compare the powers of e. If you look at the powers of e on both sides, we get something like this. And I could also do the following. I can kind of write it this, uh, this way as well because of the negative number. e to the power negative i times pi over 4 and then plus 2 pi n i. It's kind of better because that way we, we get to keep this positive if n is positive, okay? Cool. Now let's go ahead and compare powers of e. Uh, on one side we have e to the power i pi n over 4. And on the right hand side we have e to the power negative i pi over 4 plus 2 pi n i. Let's go ahead and set those powers equal to each other. i pi n over 4 equals, and we can kind of take out an i pi here, negative 1 fourth plus 2n. Awesome. i pi cancels out, leaving us with something like this. And oops, I was supposed to write k and I kept writing n. I don't know why. I was supposed to write k there. 2 pi ki. This is 2 pi ki. And this is 2k. Okay. And then, now we get something like n equals negative 1 plus 8k. If k is equal to 0, we get n equals negative 1. As you know, that's not valid. But if k is equal to 1, then n equals 7, and that should be valid. But I can also check. Let's go ahead and check how that works. Well, if you go ahead and take the square root of 2 and raise it to the 7th power, this gives you 8 root 2, which also verifies the moduli. Because when you raise the modulus, or when you raise a complex number to the nth power, the modulus is also raised to the nth power. Make sense? Cool, cool. Now let's go ahead and consider something else. Remember, we had the 1 plus i to the nth, on the left and 8 minus 8i on the right. Obviously by trial and error we could find it but I wanted to stop before that. Remember when we did the 1 plus i to the third we got uh, negative 2 plus 2i and then 1 plus i to the fourth should give us negative 4. If you multiply these two things you actually get that which means 1 plus i to the seventh power is going to satisfy the equation which means n is equal to 7, right? But I want to stop there because I didn't want to spoil the surprise. But you could also consider the following. What's the absolute value of 1 plus i? It's root 2. What's the absolute value of 8 minus 8i? Eight it's 8 root 2. How do I get 8 root 2 from a power of root 2? The answer would be n equals 7. And that needs to be satisfied. Of course, there's a general solution that considers all solutions, but I'm going to stop here to keep it simple this time. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.